Hey everybody, this is Stratagem, and today we're gonna watch Princess Trixie Sparkle Episode 3, Escape from the Archives. Now, if you're following me on Twitter, you might have read that I originally intended to marathon the entire rest of the series this weekend. However, due to some scheduling issues, that is not going to happen. I'm still going to watch the entirety of the series, and I still intend to marathon it. However, I won't be doing it today. Today will only be this episode. Still, I hope that I'll be able to get all my reactions to the series online before the hiatus is over. Anyway, last time we saw Rarity and Pinkie Pie at a fashion show in Cantalot, where despite Pinkie Pie's best efforts, things got a little bit out of hand. Rarity discovered that Trixie is trying to have Twilight arrested, and now she and Pinkie are trying to get into the archives to warn Twilight. I guess we're going to see Twilight and probably Pinkie and Rarity in Cantalot today. So without further ado, let's get to it. And here we are, in Ponyville. And we have AJ and Twilight. Okay, so Twilight is only now leaving. Okay. So AJ and Fluttershy are staying behind in Ponyville. Okay, we have Spike and Twilight. Always remember, yeah. The uh, body swapped, so. Oh, Rainbow's there too. That is exactly what you're going to do. Okay, so we are a little bit back in time. Ratty and Pinky are still on the way. Uh, probably. Oh, that main. I cannot do a thing with this man. However, he is starting to be fine. It's got a mind of its own. It doesn't like ponies. Probably, it probably does. Anyway, I think if we work quickly, we might not need the extra help. I'm pretty sure I know where to start looking. Yeah, you probably don't. Straight to the archives. Rarity, when do you think you and Pinky will be done at the fashion show? Early evening at the latest, I I'm sure. That may just work out. They'll be done a bit earlier. I haven't found anything by that point. I think we should try and see Princess Luna. Why not now? Yeah. I mean, maybe we should go see her first. Yes. You know, there are so many hours of book searching and all. And have someone who is pretty good with magic. It might take longer to convince the guards to let us see her than it would to find the answer ourselves. Honestly, you're a princess too. And you have some uh, uh, element bearers with you. So. <laughs> of course. The mustache thing. Why not? Oh. That is some pretty sound logic there. Well. I know this video is um, a few years old, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. A few years ago, we all thought Spike would never be able to fly, and now a few weeks ago, it has actually happened. <laughs> no. No yes, I agree. No. Just no. Yes. no. yes, exactly that. Okay, opening time. Look, here we are, and what we have been through. Being a princess is all so brand new. Can't wait to see what our future has in store. Don't wanna wait anymore. To boredom, we say goodbye. Have 
The intro, always a good time to have a drink. Though I kind of like that they are doing an intro every episode. Kind of gives it a similar structure to a real episode. With a cold opening, intro, and then the outro at the end. And here we go, Escape from the Archives, episode 3. Whoa, this place is like headquarters for <laughs> That's the library from um, uh, It's About Time. Just the three of us. Millions of books, thousands of scrolls, and three of us? Yep. Seriously, we need all and two of you have no idea how to use their respective bodies. Have you ever heard of the Dewey Decimal System? No, nobody has. Dewey who? Is he the librarian here or something? <laughs> that could actually happen. That might be... A pony name. Way of organizing the library so that you can find a book or scroll on anything you'd like. All you need to do is look up the topic in the catalog. No kidding. The topic is wow. body switching. Are pretty clever, aren't you? <laughs> that is kind of the definition of that. <laughs> Loosen up, Twilight. I was only fooling. Right. So where exactly should I start looking? I think there's a section upstairs on odd and unusual magic. Upstairs? Where are the stairs? I don't see any stairs. You are lying. On the left of the staircase. What about me, Twilight? Spike, do you remember that time when Celestia gave me a test on counter spells? No. Do you think you can remember where I found that book? You know, the big red one. Oh yeah, that's over here. The big red one. That's mostly. I think we might finally catch half of them. I mean, these are the Canterlot archives. If it isn't here, then I don't know where else it could be. I'm kind of astonished that they just left her in there. Where they keep time spells and nonsense. God damn it, Derpy. Derpy is the villain. That's Twilight's old, uh, uh, old place in Canterlot. And Spike's not being helpful. Stop messing around. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, um, there's nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hope Green Modash is having better luck than we are. I kinda doubt that. Magic bean, magic toadstool, magic wand, yada yada. <laughs> okay, I'm bored. <laughs> Okay, so It's actually a good point Can Trixie actually undo that spell? Because Rainbow's first song is um, <laughs> is about herself. That is insanely uh, fitting. Do we go by show logic so she's actually singing inside the archives? That would be. Oh, 
would be kind of funny if she would just get in the uh, interrupted in her song. Though they hadn't done that in the show uh, at that point yet. That is a weird lag there on Spike. There are a lot of reasons. Well, you found something uh, that ought to be hidden, but... You haven't seen a lot of things, Twilight. You're kinda blind. Yes, we are. Why not? This was obviously hidden for a reason. Maybe Celestia doesn't want ponies poking around in there. After all, these are her eyes. If she doesn't want anyone poking around, she shouldn't have a door for it. Solid we're having any luck finding information anywhere else. What have we got to lose? Just the locket with your badges. Yep. No. Yes. I got it. <laughs> what? Using Spike's tail as a lockpick. I don't know if that is how things work. <laughs> Me neither. The only thing they will find will be Celestia's fanfics. Oh no, it's a place uh, from Rainbow Dash Presents. Yeah, but why put it in the noisy archives? Well, some kind of relatively noisy. Oh no, you don't. We promise. Aren't you the least bit curious, Twilight? Well, yes, but everything's covered in dust. Doesn't look like this room's been used in years. Yeah, so there's no harm in poking around. Then why is there a book missing on that shelf? Where? Spy, come back. How do you know something's missing? Yeah, how do you? There's dust on the shelf there. I think somebody has taken this book recently. Well, that is convenient. You that's the book we've been looking for, do you? If that's what Trixie used to cast this spell, how in Equestria did she get her hooves on it? Well, the same way as you. Obviously, it was pretty easy to pick that lock. Yeah. Yeah, but what would she be doing here in the first place? She's not exactly the bookworm type. Well, she's a spellcaster, so... We never know. She's not exactly easy to understand anymore. Well, then why would Celestia leave a book like that out in the first place? Because this is Equestria. Hello, guards. Hello, two guards in the background who are obviously not vectors but hand-drawn. That's a little bit jarring. Well, so far you don't know that uh, Trixie um, Twilight is wanted. I knew this was a bad idea. That door must have been enchanted. Ah, uh, okay. Enchanted. We're going with that angle. Yes. A spell that alerts the Camelot guard when somebody is breaking into places they shouldn't be. I said nothing. A crime that pretty much makes Where perfect sense. For opening a door. Yes. Breaking and entering. Yep. That's a serious offense. Well, serious. Hmm. We should at least try to explain ourselves first. Mm. Do those guards look 
You know, you're not in a good situation for explaining. <laughs> this, this looks a little bit weird, I have to say. No, Princess Twilight. But wouldn't Luna send her own guards? You know, the bad pony guys? But you wouldn't happen to be Princess Luna's personal guard, would you? Get her! Trixie Luna Moon, you are hereby under arrest for treason to the crown as ordered by... 10,000 bits if dead. Oh wow, I didn't notice that last thing. No, wait! <gasps> yeah, you should have kept the other two. <laughs> I just imagine Spike beating up a bunch of ponies. That is just. <laughs> that's just not right. Throw the dragon. A baby dragon? Well, get him. Get the girl. Oh, heck no. Baby dragon. I mean, you should realize that that is uh, Princess Twilight's dragon. And one of the element bearers. I mean, this is probably grounds for. Um, suspicion here. Why would they be hanging out with a known criminal? Maybe we can get them away from the stairs long enough to make a, a criminal break. that their friend has uh, has uh, put a warrant on. Yes, sir. On it, sir. Oh, hey, it's the guy from the um, It's About Time episode. Yeah, just throw uh, scrolls at him. Over here. Nope, over here. <laughs> that Trixie in the background. Well, I guess anti magic isn't really a thing in Equestria. That would be the most convenient thing to cast in this situation. Looks like we'll at least catch one of them. It'd be better for you if you just came quietly here. Never! Ugh, I can't pick up books with these useless hooks! <laughs> just knock it over. It gives me an idea. Ugh. Take cover! <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly like that. <gasps> Crush them all. And now you want it for manslaughter. Um, pony slaughter. Yep. Telekinesis for the rescue. They're using quite a bit, uh, quite a lot of um, custom artwork here. Uh, as compared to the other two episodes. So it's a bit jarring to um, see all these different art styles in quick succession here. Yep. We can't just leave her out there. We won't. Well, we'll think of something. Make way for the princess. The princess approaches. Trixie. My 
my, my. Excellent work, every pony. Seems like this one put up a little bit of a fight, didn't she? Was she alone? No, ma'am. We're still looking for the other pony and the little dragon. Hmm. I'm not exactly surprised. Are you sure it was just one other pony? Positive, ma'am. Find them and bring them to the castle immediately. You won't get away with this. Should have. Can somebody please keep her should have gone to Luna in the Let first place. The I'll figure out what to do with her there. Right away, ma'am. You there. Keep looking for the others. You four, escort the prisoner out. Yeah, but it could take some time. I guess they'll be running into being here forever too soon. Yep, there they are. What's going on out there? You two go see what all the noise is about. Yes, sir. Hey, this is our chance. Let's go. Wait, back into the bushes. Wait a minute. Are those cupcakes? <laughs> Spike, not helpful. Okay, we are at the end of the previous episode now. And Pinky is assaulting the guards with cake. Okay. That's still weird. She's gone. She has left forever. Yeah, then you have five ponies and a dragon. I don't know. Pinky and I haven't seen them. When's the next train from Ponyville getting here? Soon. Let's see if they're at the Probably not soon enough. I sure hope so. For Twilight's sake. That's the K from uh, Dog and Pony Show. Yeah. Gee, isn't that just a bit hard? Nobody knew. After all, weren't we once friends? Friends? You'll never be my friend. Well. <laughs> I don't need friends. I've got an entire kingdom to love me. Your friend, your friends by proxy by now. I mean, besides the How things change. Well, uh, Princess Luna didn't seem to have a problem accepting me. I'm sure I'll just think of something clever before Celestia returns. Besides, I don't have to convince every pony, yeah. just the right ones. And I've studied you and your pathetic little friends long enough to know how to act like you. We're so comforting. Then why are you here? And miss an opportunity to see the look on your face when I finally beat you? Ha! Never. My yeah, that is probably going to be Trixie's downfall at the end. Being a bit too um, overconfident.
you just had to get them involved, didn't you? Looks like that was a big mistake, wasn't it, princess? Also, don't have these kind of uh, conversations where others might listen in. I will never get over this uh, Trixie as a villain thing. Always thought it was kind of stupid, to be honest. And then again, that's kind of what it looked like after Magic Duel. Song seems familiar. Ah, got a Oh yes. Okay, I uh, uh, what was that stupid song called? Uh, Oh yes, uh, the uh, wake me up there. Evanescence, I think. Well, so I guess next episode is going to be a an attempt to jailbreak Trixie, uh, Twilight out of jail. Also, I'm wondering how long uh, Trixie can actually keep up the act to herself. I mean, she's a raging narcissist, so living someone else's life not with her own name? That's gonna be hard on her ego. And yes, we are done with yet another episode and is this a different outro? I think the uh, instrumentalization is different at least. And we don't have lyrics here. So yeah, a somewhat different outro. Alright then, so next time I'm going to just marathon the entire rest of the series and then hopefully have it um, all edited and online within a week or two. As for this episode, yeah it was fine, 
I do have a problem that Twilight and her friends didn't just go to Luna. I mean, when pretty much the entirety of the element bearers show up on your doorstep and tell you that there is something fishy going on, yeah, that, that is probably something that uh, Luna is going to listen to, at least in my opinion. But yeah, to be honest, in the actual show there is also a lot of situations where apparently no pony has ever heard of the elements and being the element bearers apparently carries a lot less weight than I would imagine it would do. <laughs> anyway, I'm still interested to see in how this will continue and seeing the next episode titled Dragons and Draconicus, yeah, I guess that means we're going to get some discord here. Let's see what Magpie's reasoning will be for not just having Discord snap his fingers to fix the problem, because that's kind of a problem with Discord from a narrative standpoint. You always have to come up with reasons why he can't just magic everything back to normal. Or well, not normal, but at least less disastrous. Anyway, that's it for now. As always, I've been Stratagem, thanks for watching, and see you next time.